Hey guys, I'm just putting out a video as a proud daddy. Um, my son just never ceases to amaze me. And uh, I'm going to tell you the latest amazement. Yesterday, it was a rough day at school. Um, Joe had a quiz in every single class he's got. And his classes are advanced, and that young man made a hundred in every quiz he had. And I, I can't be no more proud of him. I really can't. Um, he. Worked his butt off yesterday after school in the gym for, I don't know, a couple of hours. Probably a little over that. Uh, we got three new guys in, and Joe worked with <clears throat> all three of these guys today. Uh, and when I, when I say worked with them, uh, we got a thing, and when a new guy comes in, uh, I put them with Joe, and that's the test of, can you handle this? Is this something you can do? And uh, put him with all these guys today that are in good shape, uh, South American soccer shape, and... Uh, no fat on none of these kids. Uh, very muscular kids, but they're kids. And uh, when I say they went through it with Joe, like they get down and uh, they're tossing the weighted slam ball back and forth. You know, when you come up from the sit up and you toss the ball and the other guy tosses it back to you three in a row. Three in a row, three in a row, giving those guys three sets with that. I have no comprehension because the last set, I kept saying, do, do it till you can't do it no more because the intent is to break the boy down when they first come in the gym and see if they want it. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't play and we're not out here catering uh, to spoiled kids for money or anything like that. You come, you come in around us, and uh, ninety percent of the guys get run off. Uh, probably over that, get run off. Don't they'll come a few times if they even come back after the first time. Uh, well, I'd say about eighty percent the first time they're gone. They, they don't come back and pushing it up to 90% after the first sparring they don't they don't come back so we got a few you know some five five or maybe ten percent there that that stick around for an extended stay and the rest of them they just go on and that, I mean that's what we do and uh, even with the kids, you know, these are all teenagers, but uh, I'm into molding men, so that's what we do. And uh, it's just remarkable. I mean, Joe's just doing push ups, a guy gets down, uh, he does 50 with Joe, then Another guy comes, gets set up, then he does 50 with Joe. Then the other guy, 50. Then the other guy, 50. And, boy, this is a ring going around for three sets, and Joe just keeps going. So every set they're doing, Joe's doing the set with them. And, uh, and of course, Joe finishes <laughs> before they do. Because I'll tell a guy, this is a number you have to hit. You've got to hit that number. You've got to hit that number. If you have to wait a minute, 
for 30 seconds, 10 seconds, and uh, get filling back in yourself. Get to let the uh, acid work out a little bit, and but you got it. You got to finish the repetitions. And the kids that came in today, they did good. They did really good. Now tomorrow I'm going to do something new with this group, uh, since there's more than a couple of guys. They're going to run the gauntlet with each other. I'm going to put one of them in. He's going to have three one-minute rounds. I, I won't go to two or three in the beginning. Uh, but he'll have a round with a round. Then he'll have a round with the next fresh guy. And then a round with the next fresh guy. Then I go secondary. And the second guy will have a round and a round and a round. And we'll just keep keep it going in a circle till I feel like they can't go no more. And I pushed the hell out of the kid. I pushed the hell out of the, I'm old school. And what I'm going to do tomorrow is Joe's not going to spar. He's not going to be in that first go-round session where they're all going to go three rounds with each other three times and uh, so I believe it's three of them so they'll all, have, they'll all have nine rounds and if a kid's whizzing through that and one of these kids he's a little older uh, he's almost 18 he's a little guy but boy, he's strong and he's muscular and he's fast as hell and uh, if one of these kids are really whooping up on another one uh, the head honcho in that little ordeal is going to face Joe for a round or two. Uh, of course, I don't let Joe beat on beat these boys up, but it's a whooping. And uh, so I'm going to let the strongest one, the one that really does the best, and we'll wait, let him get his composure, uh, let him, uh, they'll work out some, and then before it's time to go, I'll tell the one kid you're gonna you're gonna do one or three rounds with Joe to get the headgear back on and get back, and uh, we'll see what happens. But I think it'll be all right. Um, you know, we've been through it all. We had teeth knocked out, all sorts of stuff. But that's this sport. Uh, that's this art, this art form that ain't easy. But uh. Today, Joe went the round with all three of these guys. Uh, you know, one to come up to the pot, and they finished, and another one come up to the pot, and Joe's continuing through it. And uh, it, it it helps these other kids to see Joe because they can it, it'll give them something to aspire and shoot for. And typically, when you get the kids together, the, the one that's doing – really, really excelling and working the hardest, uh, you'll have a kid or two that will say, I'm going to do that too. I'm going to try to be better than this guy. And that's what I look for. And uh, so we'll see what happens. But Joe did all that today. We literally got back down here in the house. And it wasn't three minutes later, Joe was like, mm, you know, talk to mom. I want to go back up. I want to go back. I'm not done yet. So we ended up back up there for uh, 30 minutes or an hour and uh, doing more bag work, uh, heavy bag, reflex bag work, uh, shadow boxing, a uh, whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. So... That's my proud daddy video for today, and uh, I hope I got one in a few more days to put out, because I'm always a proud daddy. We, we thank God every day in this house. We thank God every day. I'm an old man. Uh, my wife's younger than me. Uh, she's quite younger than me. And so I had Joe late in my life, and I treasure every minute of it. I, I don't know how to have him 
earlier that I would have been as good as I am now. Uh, and I got a lot of shortcomings. So it's, I tell guys all the time, if you're under 40 and you got a boy or girl, woo, come to me. I'll try to give you some advice, try to help you along the way uh, from my mess ups. And, uh, but I tell you, I, I, I couldn't be no more pleased than a son. I don't, I, I, I don't see another father as pleased in their son as I am with Joe. And uh, we are very thankful in this house. We give God all the credit. Uh, God provided the timing. Uh, God has provided me extra years that I didn't think I would have. And uh, nothing but blessings. We, we have a hard time. Uh, we're in a country where we don't want to be where we are. Uh, so we have problems like the next family, but uh, we have to stop and and realize how lucky we are from time to time, and we give thanks daily in this house, uh, even when it's right at the end and we think that all hell's going to fall in on us and we're going to lose everything we have or whatever the issue could be and uh even when we're sick or whatever and we still give thanks to the good lord uh we are so thankful that we worship the one true god the king of kings jesus christ and we're so thankful that uh he helps us along the way and that he has helped instill in us the value of uh, hard work and fair play and uh, good moral and ethic ca character, which I have uh, quite a bit of shortcomings in a lot of departments. I got a temper that'll light off like a nuclear warhead from time to time. Uh, and I'm very demanding, but uh, not with Joe. Uh, it, it seems like for the past two years, Joe's been more demanding of me uh, in many ways. I mean, I'll push Joe. Don't get me wrong. I'm a, I'm something else. But uh, I think the earlier years of doing that, where, where we've been the past couple of years, uh, I'm just shocked and amazed on a daily basis around here with him. And I just thank the Lord every day time that that uh oh well i'm gonna give in and you know let him do this or uh let let this happen or that happen uh that i didn't do those things and that i held uh firm ground as a as a daddy and uh because i tell you oh my goodness gracious y'all i am sure certainly reaping the rewards of that and the biggest piece of advice i could give to any younger dad out there is uh be firm uh but fair and, and realize that when you're raising a child there th there is a world out there that is going to eat them alive if they're not prepared uh to defend themselves from it and uh, uh, through discipline and through hard work and other things. I'm not talking about fighting when I say what I just said. Uh, but you, you've got to be spiritually, mentally, emotionally uh, prepared. This world's a hard place right now. Uh, don't seem to be getting any better. So... Uh, Anyway, again, that's my proud dad video for the day. Much love to you all. Again, I'm going to end this with my sincere prayers and my family's sincere prayers is that you guys have a wonderful, peaceful, uh, calm, serene uh, holiday season this year. God bless you folks. And we will see you later.